Hello and welcome to the print. This is Nikhil Rampal, and right now we are in Punjab, the state that goes for its legislative assembly polls on 20th of February. Uh, now, when you come to Punjab, you expect to see uh, big cars, great food, and the, all the bale bale culture that the Bollywood tries to show us in the films. All of that exists. However, there is another thing that has grabbed the state by its neck, and that is anger. Now, a glimpse of that anger was visible when the farmers surrounded the Delhi borders for more than a year to repeal those three laws. And they succeeded in it. Uh, however, the visuals that we are trying to show, we are showing you right now, are not of the farm protests. So, why is anger such a big component in Punjabis today? Why are Punjabis becoming angrier? What has prevailed that once known as colorful Rangla Punjab is now so much angry that it has become Ubalta Punjab? In this ground report with Riti Agarwal, we will try to find answer to these questions. So let's begin our journey. If you look at the statistics, in 1993, a Punjabi on average earned the third highest income among all the states. Only the small state of Goa and Delhi performed better. Punjab retained its position until 2000. 2001. Since then, there has been an unrelenting slide. By 2010-11, Punjab's per capita income was lower than nine other states. Nearly a decade later, in 2020-21, there were 15 states with higher per capita income than Punjab. Much of the anger that is coming from Punjab has its economic history to it. Right now, with me, I have Professor Lakhvinder Singh Gill from Khalsa College Patiala, who will explain us the economic reasons why Punjabis right now are boiling in anger. If we look at the history of Punjab economy, from the last 30 years period of time, we see that the per capita income of Punjab in compared to other states is falling. Uh, the gap between the per capita income of all India average and Punjab's per capita income is reducing. So in that sense, the relative uh, uh, ranking of Punjab is continuously falling and this gives us a simple idea that Punjab is suffering from economic crisis. Uh, agriculture sector for a long period of time is in dire crisis large number of farmers as a symptom is committing suicides especially in the Malwa belt there is a incidence of suicides happen to be very high in the farming sector the second we have uh, industrial sector of the economy you will see that the two very important towns of industry Batala as well as Mandi Kupendakar almost vacated uh, industry has vacated uh, the kind of uh, earlier kind of uh, things which were manufactured so both towns industry has deserted. But the overall expansion of the industrial sector has not taken place. The third sector is the services sector, where the wage rate uh, happened to be relatively very low and the services are largely in the informal sector of the economy, where regulatory mechanisms are almost not working. So according to economist Gill, Punjab faces a multi-dimensional crisis. None of its economic sectors are growing. A state cannot grow more fields, but it could create more jobs and output outside this sector by setting up industries. Has that worked in Punjab? Not really. In its glorious past, Punjab was known to take pride in its industries too, especially textiles, bicycle manufacturing and leather. But in the present day scenario, industrialists are reportedly fleeing the state. According to an archive piece from the Economic and Political Weekly, the number of factories in the state swelled to 54,250 in 1955 from 2311 in 1947 and was growing multidimensionally. The state had become a fertile ground for hosiery, bicycles and their parts, handloom, sports goods and metal industry. An Earthswell Planning Commission report from 2000 shows that by the 1980s, Punjab's industry grew at an average of 21.75% in 1980-85. Despite facing years of militancy, this sector grew by 10.75% in the next five years. However, right after the Indian economy was liberalized in 1991, the industry growth stalled at only 1.87% in 1992-97. This slowed down further to 0.98% in 1998-2000, the commission report said. 
Between 2015 and 16 and 2020 2021, the industry witnessed only 6.78% annual average growth, according to the Confederation of Indian Industries. Punjab manufactures 90% of India's bicycles, most of which happens to be in Ludhiana, but things don't look great, according to the chief of the cycle parts manufacturing body. Chief. When it comes to industries, Punjab manufactures 90% of India's bicycles and most, most of it is produced within the vicinity of Ludhiana and today I have with me the President of United Cycle and Parts Manufacturers Association which is Asia's largest organization in single trade uh, whose president is Mr. D. S. Chavla who will explain us how easy or difficult is it to operate in Punjab when it comes to being an industrialist. So Mr. Chavla can you explain us uh, compared to other states how easy or difficult is it to operate in Punjab today as a cycle industrialist? Punjab is a landlocked state. We don't have the raw material. We don't have the labor to work. We don't have the market to sell our product. This was only a Punjabiyat that uh, with the quality of the electricity we were getting earlier at the competitive prices, we were giving a tough competition to our competitor. Not in India, abroad also. So my request to the state is give us the less restriction by the state government, Inspector Raj, it should be taken out. Then the single window is required for the clearance of establishment of new industry, hmm. where my state is what is uh, they are doing to get the investment from outside in Punjab. Hmm. I'll request my state government that existing industry should be feeded first. Hmm. After that, you get the new, uh, new vendors in India. Hmm. What Chavla means is that Punjab is losing edge as competition between the states to promote industries has risen. According to the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion's Ease of Doing Business Rankings, Punjab fell from 16 in 2015 to 20th rank in 2017. In the latest ranking, 2019, it improved marginally to get to 19th rank, but still places itself in the bottom 10. So, the most of the politicians have their businesses, they use state power to you know, promote their own businesses. So, until they are not allowing a fair game to happen, so you will find that that is the um, basic challenge. A government has to generate through the regulatory mechanism a fair game. It should be equal for everyone. But the fundamental problem is that the state can have a flexibility to do such kind of things until it is not raising the revenue. Mm -hmm. Because the uh, uh, debt uh, of the state government has gone up, up to 56% of the state domestic product. Okay. which is I think that in a dangerous zone uh, that is not allowing the state government because 30 percent of the revenue directly goes to return the rate of interest as well as the uh, minimum amount of uh, the payments uh, to the uh, core uh, liabilities which we have with us. So until that is not uh, being done, you will find that uh, very difficult. While other states offer better incentives to industries and promote competition, even the companies that are working in Punjab plan to move out, industrialists told the print. In the early 2000s, when neighbor Himachal Pradesh offered tax shops to incentivize industries in, the in its town Baddi, which borders Punjab, the pharma industry fled the state. Cheap availability of land and other incentives caused an exodus of the textile industry in the decade that followed. And now, the bicycle industry, which manufactures 90% of India's bicycles, is also considering moving out of the state. Political lethargy to woo industrialists is also causing anger among the industrialists. They don't have the political will. They don't have the political Because we don't have the vote power. But you employ so many people, so... <coughs> But for them, we are only a funding units only. So, at the election, everybody comes to the industry. Hmm. Sir, Baba, aapki kamal hai ji industry hai ji, aap toh paisa de do. Vote leke jate hai, promise deke jate hai. Main toh yehi dekh raha hoon, 65 saal ki umar honne wali hai. Main toh yehi dekh raha hoon ji government ka. Ultimately, kya hoga? After our generation, have you seen any of the new person coming in Punjab for the industry, except the large unit? Large unit can come, give employment to thousand two thousand people they can fund to the government mm. save your micro units 
if micro unit is not there ultimately it will affect to the large also eventually industrialists might have to think over moving elsewhere as other states are offering lucrative options we don't will we don't wish hum nahi chahte punjab se bahar jana lekin yahan pe mere ko kaam karne ke liye paisa chahiye you are asking for the msme basically in punjab large units are very less even i should not name the persons or the companies they have grown up from punjab they had shifted to from bicycle to auto and other sectors they are growing like anything but why not they had invested in punjab that shows they have got a great vision decades before the future of the punjab is not bright so just like the textile industry do you think there is a chance that the bicycle industry also might move or expand outside punjab and invest in those states we have to think over because punjab mein to industry hai bangal mere ko bula raha hai madhya pradesh mein kuch industry ja chuki hai up yogi ji ne bulaya hamari delegation ko aayi hai hoga kya ki maybe successful there or not is the secondary question but the primary is get rid of this state so if that state comes the punjab will be ruined i appeal to the state government that please save my bicycle industry otherwise if the industry is ruined employment again load on the government uh exchequer will be losing the taxation share so then, we can say that there will be a significant economic loss for punjab if the industry moves yes, out and they're not doing anything right now to woo you or detain you back no they are going for us aapke liye bana denge ji promise they're promising you basically so, from decades we are getting the promise we are being fooled by all the governments so industry is the backbone of the economy of the country agriculture you can't expand the land mm. but with industry you can go vertical so importance of the industry has to be seen by the bureaucrats or the politicians due to instability at the political sector we are being ignored so industry has to think yes in punjab we love punjab we don't want to leave but don't pressurize us to leave like ludhiana's charred gray skies carrying industrial smog and roadside dust the future of many industries doesn't look pretty either coming back to their homes in the polluted neighborhoods of ludhiana surrounded by factory smog and road dust the migrant workers in the state say they also want to leave any industrial town depends on its labors and right now i have some of the punjab's uh, workers who have migrated from uttar pradesh and continue to work in the state to aapka naam kya hai sir sir shankar naam hai mara shankar aap kahan se hain shankar सर हम उत्तर प्रदेश से हैं तो आप कितने साल से पंजाब में काम कर रहे हैं सर मेरे ख्याल से पैंतीस साल हो गए पैंतीस साल से पंजाब में काम पच्चीस बीस पच्चीस साल बीस पच्चीस साल से पंजाब में काम कर रहे हैं तो आपको अब तक बीस पच्चीस साल हो गए पंजाब में अरे भैया हम तो बाकी अच्छा आपको मैं पूछूंगा अगर बाकी राज्यों की तुलना में पंजाब में मजदूरी ज़्यादा मिलती है कम मिलती है बहुत कम मिलती है बाकी राज्यों का तो फिलहाल मुझे पता नहीं जहाँ तक हर राज्यों का अपना अलग नियम है अलग रूल है और रही बात तो हर राज्य में भी यही प्राइवेट का जो है सिस्टम तो हर जगह आपको पता ही है और प्राइवेट में मतलब आठ हज़ार दस हज़ार बारह हज़ार पंद्रह हज़ार जैसे जो हो तो प्राइवेट में हमें नहीं लगता है कि चाहे आप तीस साल लगा लो चालीस साल लगा लो प्राइवेट में कुछ भी बढ़ने वाला ऐसा कुछ होता नहीं तो आप खुश हैं पंजाब में काम करके कि नहीं खुश तो मेरे ख्याल से कोई भी नहीं होगा जो दिल्ली में होगा बम्बई में होगा वो भी नहीं खुश होगा तो अगर आपको उत्तर प्रदेश में अच्छी नौकरियाँ मिले पंजाब छोड़ के कहीं और राज्य में चले जाएँ तो वहाँ भी अगर हमें यही दिक्कत हो तो जाहिर की बात है कि खुश रहना उचित नहीं है ना खुश रह पाएंगे तनख्वाह की जो बात होती थी जो तनख्वाह पे पहले चलता था आजकल वो ठेके के हिसाब से हो गया मतलब ठेके पे हमने काम कराना क्या नहीं कराना काम है तो ड्यूटी है नहीं काम है तो छुट्टी है पहले आदमी का ये होता था कि चलिए हमारी पंद्रह हज़ार बारह हज़ार तनख्वाह है मजदूर की अपनी एक हिसाब का जो है सैलरी हो उनके काम के हिसाब से सैलरी हो आप चाहते हैं कि सैलरी बढ़े पंजाब सरकार कोई भी हो हम ये नहीं कहते कि ये सरकार हो कितनी सैलरी आपको चाहिए महीने की अगर आप मांगेंगे कि आपको सरकार बोलेगी तो कोई इतनी सैलरी में दूंगा तो मैं कितनी सैलरी पे तुम टिक जाओ सरकार मतलब सरकार की तो छोड़िए सर अपने हिसाब से अपने आदमी का खर्चा भी होता है उसी हिसाब से न्यूनतम बारह आपका नाम क्या है चंद्रभान यादव और सुन लीजिए कहाँ से है और जब से भी ये सरकार आई है ना मोदी गवर्नमेंट 
तब से लेबर और और करो का सत्यानाश हो गया मोदी इन फैक्ट द लेबर वर्किंग इन पंजाब इज आल्सो काइंड ऑफ एनॉयड विद द स्टेट ऑफ अफेयर्स एंड इज थिंकिंग टू मूव अवे फ्रॉम द स्टेट इफ ऑफर अ डिग्निफाइड इनकम फ्रॉम देयर हार्ड वर्क इन देयर होम स्टेट हां जी लॉकडाउन के टाइम पे आप घर वापस गए थे वापस गए और कोई ठिकाना नहीं है तो जाएंगे तो वापस यहां पे पंजाब में आके कैसा लग रहा है पंजाब फिलहाल कोई ज्यादा बढ़िया नहीं लग रहा काम के स्थिति से तो बेकार ही चल रहा है मेरे ख्याल से पिछले दो साल से पिछले दो साल से काम बेकार चल रहा है अच्छा तो इनको यूपी में ही ठीक है यूपी में ही ठीक है अगर वहां भी अपने घर में रहेंगे तो उनको वहां रोटी दाल मिलेगी नाले मजदूरी भी मिलेगी अब तो हम फिर आया भी बच्चे का हां जी नाम क्या है फूलचंद तिवाड़ी हां जी तो सॉरी आपका नाम क्या है फूलचंद तिवाड़ी अच्छा तो आप क्या कह रहे हैं कि यूपी में अगर काम मिल जाए तो रुक जाएंगे हाँ अच्छा है यूपी में तो और बढ़िया है जी अपना सारा कुछ है ना कोई ना कुछ हमें खरीदना है ना कुछ देना है ना लेना है अपना आराम से सारा तो नोएडा में कहते हैं नोएडा में जैसे बहुत सारी वो नौकरियाँ कहते हैं कि काम है तो नोएडा कितने वर्करों को लेगी पूरे पंजाब को भर लेगा नहीं ना लेगी उत्तर प्रदेश आधे पंजाब के वर्करों को भी नहीं भर पाएगा जहाँ तक मेरा ख्याल चाहे वो नोएडा रख लीजिए बम्बई रख लीजिए कहीं भी रख लीजिए एक राज्य कोई एक प्रदेश भी एक राज्य का वर्कर चला जाए तो किसी भी राज्य कुछ नहीं बात नहीं है रख पाएंगे अगर उनके अपने भी तो वर्कर हैं जैसे जहाँ पर आप काम करते हैं तो जिस एरिया में आप काम करते हैं जिस भी फैक्ट्री में आप काम करते हैं उस फैक्ट्री में कितने लोग बिहार यूपी से और कितने लोग पंजाब के काम करते हैं वहाँ पे मामूली से दस परसेंट भी नहीं है बाकी सब यूपी अगर देखा जाए तो यूपी बिहार के ही बदौलत मजदूरों के बदौलत जो है ये अपना पंजाब चल रहा है इनकी इनके समझो की रुपया का रुपया ही यूपी और बिहार के हैं मजदूरी के मामले में यूपी बिहार के ही लोग को के बड़े बड़े उद्योग चल रहे हैं जो भी चल रहे हैं की अगर हम रोटी खा रहे हैं तो हमें यूपी बिहार वालों से खा रहे हैं मिसाल के तौर पे देखा जाए अगर मजदूर यूपी बिहार के चले जाए तो पंजाब के बस की बात तो अगर तो आपको दूसरे राज्य में अगर आपको यूपी बिहार या मध्य प्रदेश या आपके घर के पास जो भी राज्य है वहाँ पे बारह हजार जैसे आपने बोला आपको वहाँ पे नौकरी मिल जाए तो क्या आप पंजाब में काम करना चाहेंगे The service sector in Punjab is limited and still struggling to expand. In the last 10 to 15 years, India has witnessed a significant jump in the information and technology sector, but Punjab has managed to stay largely untouched by this. If the services sector's growth is considered in the states where it is worth at least rupees 1 lakh crore, Punjab grew at an average annual rate of just 7% between 2004-5 and 2019-20. This is low and places the state in 12th position among the 16 states the print analyzed its neighbor haryana has done much better in this regard with an average annual growth rate of 9.4% per annum second only to karnataka that has grown by 9.6% in 2018 the state finance minister had reportedly said that it is better to be paid low than to sit idle when questions of low salary offered to engineers were posed to him the other service avenue was inland trade with pakistan which used to give employment to thousands but even that opportunity has been snatched after the 2019 pulwama terror attack so i think that the institutional arrangements which punjab is expected to uh, use it for a developmental purposes that institutional framework has been almost uh, damaged over the uh, over the period of time it started damaging in the period of uh, militancy movement but uh, you know after 30 years uh, uh, period of elected governments they failed to you know return uh, to the kind of developmental institutional structure as well as you know the mm. this is the only state which is not even implementing 73rd uh, amendment which is a decentralization so third tier of government they are not uh, allowing to function the way it should happen so i think that uh, these are the kind of uh, challenges which uh, the state government has to tackle until state government is not tackling those challenges mm. it is very difficult that uh, you can uh, reverse the kind of uh, 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 prosperity which punjab usually uh, was moving towards that kind of situation.